Hello tiny tribe, it's another beautiful and really really hot Sunday. Today we have not only one event but two events. We're going to be headed to the Guatemalan festival in downtown LA and then after we're going to head on over to Latina Fest also in downtown LA. So I'm excited to bring you guys along. Hi dad. You know, you know mention thank you to your, thank you to your driver. <laughs> My, and then Today we have. Uh, I am over without salary. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna go on strike. Have Papa Chico today with me, as always, on our Sunday adventures. Chico, enjoy the pupusa today. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's it. So now we're gonna do the grand finale. We ask these ladies 
and gentlemen, because everybody supports, to create a banner, to create a poster that says, what is it for you to be a Latina? What does it represent? So ladies, gentlemen, please raise these posters and share with everybody here at Latina Fest. And thank you so much for being part of this fashion show parade. We love you. Thank you for being here at Latina Fest. Thank you so much. Gracias a todas. All right, guys, so we are now back home. We've had a very, very long day. We are super hungry and super exhausted because it was 100 degrees out here in the lake today. And you made me walk and walk and walk. <laughs> I made Papa Chico walk and walk a lot. And we are now hangry, borderline hangry, verdad? Mm, borderline hangry, but it's okay, I'm going feel okay. So we were out in LA and we didn't get a chance to stop by one of the hot dog stands. So we are now making our own version of uh, LA hot dogs, bacon wrapped hot dogs. Look at this beauty, look at this beauty. <laughs> mm. From here. We're really hungry, so he's gonna eat two and I'm gonna eat two. No, no, I made me eat six. Oh, <laughs> we're that hungry. So we're going to show you how we the Tinies prepare our version of the L.A. hot dog. Pretty soon I want to sell it off in Moncajete. <laughs> Don't forget, every time you, are, you buy some aguacates, to rinse them because you don't know what hands have touched this. So here's a little pro tip. Wash your avocados, any fruit, any vegetable in general. Because when you slice it, the knife, if it has any bacteria or whatever, the knife is going to bring it inside. So, don't forget to wash your produce. Hey. <laughs> Caught you. Hey. That's his, um, what is it? Your relaxation juice? No, I deserve it. <laughs> you are a mess. Your mess? Or mess, because... <laughs> right there, you got a nice beautiful hot dog. Let me show you how it's done. Alright, first, you put your little hot dog in there. Then, ketchup oh. has to go in first. Bummer. I like a loaded hot dog, you guys. Some mustard. Oh, yeah. Some mayo. Some aguacate. I like a loaded hot dog. Oh, check it out. Halfway. And some salsa. So, some salsita on there. And that is a loaded hot dog. Mm -mm. <laughs> you got in the background. Look at my creation. 
nha Hello everybody, hello my tiny tribe um, I did not get to do an outro last night because after we ate those hot dogs we got into couch potato mode and we did not want to get up after so we just watched America's Got Talent and we called it a night but yeah, I'm here today good morning, good afternoon, good evening <laughs> I don't know what time you guys watch the, my videos normally hello wherever you are it's now the next morning and I wanted to share some of the things I picked up at the uh, the two events that we went to. So here's my big bag that I always carry with me to the event. This is by Isos Crafts, my favorite tote bag to carry around because it fits a lot of things. So let's see what we picked up yesterday. The only thing I picked up at the Guatemalan festival were these uh, huaraches. And I really fell in love with the colors in here because it has great fall colors even though we don't wear, normally wear huaraches in the winter we're in, I'm in California so it's kind of sunny all the time over here mostly so yeah I thought these were really beautiful I love the colors and over there it's a size 34 which is a size 4 so that's my size my foot is super super tiny if you guys hear any noise in the background, I've been waiting all morning to see if they if they would finish doing some construction out front because it's ongoing construction here. Uh, but I've been waiting and waiting and nothing. So I'm like, all right, let's 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 just get on with the video. So if you guys hear that background noise, I apologize, but the show must go on, right? So let's see, this is what we picked up. So this is a freebie I picked up by Vallarta Supermarkets. It's really cool because it has its little container like if you want to carry a salad in here and you have a fork here on the side and you want to put some dressing in here. Ooh, it's pretty neat. So that was a cool freebie I picked up at Latina Fest as well as a fan because it was super super hot like yesterday. We're having a very hot week. One of the booths I stopped by was by my dear friend Juanitas. Uh, she's the owner of Chic Party Goods. And I actually picked up two things from this. No, three things. This is super cute hat band. Because I always love buying bands for my hats. So the colors caught my attention right away. She recently went on a trip to Mexico. She brought these over from over there. Artisanally handmade. So beautiful. And it looked really good on my hat. And she just brought these in as well. They're like hair clips with nice little flowers. And there's a matching bracelet. And I really love that it was petite, small wrist friendly. It fits it, it's really adjustable. So it fits like a wide variety of wrist sizes. So those were my very favorite items I picked up from Juanita and then next was from J&J &J collection this is a team of two women who hand sew and design these cool headbands and I really like this color because you know it's almost fall it's almost fall and we gotta start thinking in our fall outfits. By the way, you guys, these earrings, look how cute that is. This looks cute with an updo, with your hair down. So cute. By the way, you guys, these earrings are from Cafe Cognesi. I did not pick these up yesterday, but these she gave to me a while back. And I just love, love, love the colors. They're super lightweight. Um, check out her shop because she also has a variety of really beautiful earrings. Just a shout out to Yessi because I love all her earrings as well. And I think, let's see, I did pick up some food items because Tiny Hall's always got to include some food. 
and earring. Of course, I had to stop by my friend Leslie's um, booth, Sabia Guates, if you guys remember her from the vendor spotlight. She also just came back from Guatemala and she brought a ton of beautiful goodies. And I actually picked this up as a gift to somebody. You know, I could not believe that August is full of Virgo sisters. I posted a picture up on Instagram and I said, where's my Virgo sister is at? And boy, a bunch of you showed up. So that's amazing. I would love to do like a big Virgo birthday bash. Wouldn't that be great? I'm kind of tempted to do that next year. <laughs> but yeah, this is for somebody that's going to have a birthday this month. By the way, my, August, my birthday, I'm so excited, is this Saturday, August 31st. Little tiny is gonna be 29 years old. Can can't even believe it. <laughs> like I said, it always it sounds weird to say that. But yeah, this is a crossbody bag, and just look at the beautiful, gorgeous colors in here. It's very roomy and with uh, pockets to put your phone and your sunglasses there on the side. I love me a good tassel moment. So beautiful, and she was so kind enough to bring this back for me. It's like a little. Typical Guatemalan doll. Look at how cute that is. And of course, that little Quetzal keychain. Very, very cute. She knows I love Quetzales so much. That's why I like these earrings because, look, kind of has colors of a Quetzal. But yeah, thank you, Leslie, for this beautiful little doll. I love him so much. And of course, I could get a pair of earrings from Raices. These earrings are inspired by the beautiful folklore of the alebrijes. But they're in heart shape. But usually it's some type of like creature the designer comes up with. Whatever they're feeling. And they're super, super lightweight. Yeah. Look how cute. The colors were just so gorgeous. And everything is hand painted. She carries beautiful pieces of art. And the tiger make sure you check her out all her items are artisanal as well and um, she brings them over from Mexico she works closely with some artisans over there and it's just beautiful pieces of art that she sells and of course I picked up three food items these are galletitas by Nat I had them in my bag and uh, they kind of crumbled up a little bit they're still delicious regardless these are her churro thumbprint cookies so 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 good i always look forward to having my morning tea or coffee with my galletitas so good you know and then another baker i love supporting is angie my piece of cake of angie she just launched these madeleines also churro inspired i love me anything churro mm. it's now the next day and i thought they would be you know, like the next day baked goods usually are not too fresh. But this is still really soft, really delicious. And it comes with little cajeta in there so you can dip it. Cajeta is like a milk-based caramel. And then something sweet I picked up was these watermelon belts by Ositos. They are covered in a delicious homemade chili powder. They are so, so good. I haven't tried these watermelon though, so that's why I picked them up because I love this little piece. Mm. Oh, mm. here's her website. She's on Instagram and she's always having pop up events. My mouth is watering for more. <laughs> You guys want some? Oh, order some from here. <laughs> so, so good. But that's basically all I picked up. You're like, yeah, that's it. <laughs> and I wanted to share with you guys really, really quick to show you that every time you go, you can always pick up different items all the time, not just they don't have the same things over and over. They're always traveling to Mexico, to Guatemala, to somebody just came from. Uh, my favorite ladies from Glam Lindo Artesanía, they just came back from Colombia. They took a trip out there and then they fell in love with the beautiful items from over there and they brought back some beautiful purses that I'm looking forward to ordering pretty soon. Oh, all over the world there's artisans 
that create beautiful, beautiful things. So at these events, that's why I love going because I get exposed to the culture, to the different cultures and the beautiful items that can be made by hand all over the world. So I wanted to share some of this with you guys. And if you have a chance, check these stores out because all their items are unique it's so so beautiful i hope you enjoyed this mini haul i enjoyed bringing you guys along with me to the guatemalan festival and to latina fest i'm really happy i found a tribe member also named cindy she was visiting all the way from arizona to go to attend the guatemalan festival and i was in line with my dad ordering some food as you guys watched uh, saw what we were enjoying some garnachas so delicious my favorite uh guatemalan typical dish uh, I found Sydney and she came up to me and she's like, are you from the Pine Sides Diaries? And I was like, yes. <laughs> so I was so happy to find a tribe member there. And hi, Cindy. It was so nice to bump into you there and thank you for coming up and saying hello. I really appreciated it and meeting you in person. And I hope you had a safe trip back to Arizona. Sending you warm hugs here from California and your mom too and your dad who are all very nice and I was happy to meet as well. I hope you enjoyed this Sunday vlog and as always stay tuned for my videos. Turn on that notification bell because you never know when it's gonna ring that I posted a new video. Thank you guys for your endless support, your beautiful kind words. I enjoy having you guys part of the tribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!